Welcome back to Wrestling Flash. In this WWE and all things wrestling video we are going to look at. Bobby Lashley threatens Roman Reigns, WWE ends brand split, Sasha Banks and Naomi replace Roman Reigns on advert for upcoming episode of SmackDown, WWE changes locations for Money in the Bank. First let's look at WWE changes locations for Money in the Bank. Premium live event in Las Vegas, Nevada. Poor ticket sales has been cited as the main reason for the decision. The company initially advertised that the event will take place at Allegiant Stadium, but today's reports suggest that the company will be moving the show to a much smaller venue. According to Brad Shepard, WWE will be moving money in the bank to the MGM Arena. The 30-year-old arena last hosted wrestling in 2019 with All Elite Wrestling's Double or Nothing event. The reason, according to Shepard, is due to disappointing ticket sales. On May 19th, I broke the news on the Brad Shepard Unleashed Patrick and that hashtag WWE was considering moving to a different venue for money in the bank due to poor ticket sales. I have now confirmed they have officially decided to change the venue to MGM and it will be announced soon. Brad Shepard, Twitter. Allegiant Stadium, the home of the Las Vegas Raiders, has a maximum capacity of approximately 70,000 while the MGM Arena only holds around 17,000. Allegiant Stadium hosted last year's SummerSlam event, with 51,326 WWE fans showing up for the blockbuster event. As of this writing, neither WWE nor either venue have confirmed these reports. When WWE first advertised money in the bank last month, the company inadvertently caused a lot of confusion surrounding the fan-favorite event. The ads featured Cody Rhodes dropping the line, one lucky male or female superstar will win the chance to main event WrestleMania. This statement seemingly reflected a significant deviation from the original concept of the popular gimmick match. Traditional rules for the match state that the winner of either ladder match can cash in their guaranteed championship match whenever they say so please, for up to one year. However, WWE purists can breathe a sigh of relief. Recent reports state that the awkward phrasing in the Cody Rhodes promo does not mean the rules are changing for the bout. This explanation was shared by Steve Carrier, whose source was a tenured member of the WWE creative team. We were able to confirm one big point of confusion. A tenured member of the WWE creative team confirmed to us that the winner of MITB is not set for a Mania match and no one knows why that is being said. It's been brought up in meetings. Writers and producers were confused too, wrote Carrier. Are you excited about money in the bank? Who do you think will win the MITB briefcase? Tell us your thoughts and predictions in the comments section below. WWE's brand split reportedly coming to an end. WWE is reportedly ending the brand split, as several superstars are slated to appear on Raw and SmackDown. The brand split has been a staple in the company for a long time. It has created a versatile playing field for Raw and SmackDown, and it has also helped the company feature more stars. The concept was first introduced back in 2002 until it was officially discontinued in 2011. It was revived in July 2016 with a fresh start as separate authority figures were assigned to each show. Now it seems that Vince McMahon could reportedly be moving forward without the brand split concept. Speaking on the subject, Figure 4 Online's Brian Alvarez noted on Wrestling Observer Live that WWE is more or less essentially done with the brands. He also reported that almost half of the Raw roster can show up on SmackDown, with notable names including Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. This isn't anything official, but the brand extension is essentially done. Half of the Raw crew is going to be on SmackDown Friday. Cody's gonna be there, I think Seth is gonna be there. Edge doing whatever and it makes for a better show, as we've mentioned a thousand times, Alvarez said. However, it should be noted that the company hasn't made an official announcement that the brand split is officially over. Fans have already begun seeing the trend of bringing different stars to feature on each show from time to time. Most recently, the WWE Universe saw Randy Orton and Riddle crossover on SmackDown throughout their feud with the Usos. However, this is not the first time superstars have shifted between brands. The trend arguably started with the bloodline amidst the Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns feud. The Tribal Chief starred on the blue brand, but he also crossed over to Raw. With the brand split seemingly coming to an end, fans can expect to see a lot of dream matches with superstars shifting from one brand to another. It remains to be seen how World Wrestling Entertainment will incorporate the split in the coming months. Paul Heyman sends a message to Roman Reigns on his birthday. Roman Reigns celebrated his 37th birthday this week and the WWE Universe on social media showcased their love for the undisputed world champion. Paul Heyman also took to Twitter to send a birthday message to the head of the table. The two men have been dominant in WWE ever since, forming an alliance with each other a few years ago. Heyman tweeted out a photo of the bloodline and his birthday message to Reigns read, Acknowledge your tribal chief's birthday. On last week's edition of WWE SmackDown, Roman Reigns assisted his cousins, the Usos, to secure a historic win over RK Bro. The Usos became the new undisputed tag team champion, as they unified the SmackDown and Raw tag team titles. After the match, Reigns choked out Randy Orton, while his tag team partner, Riddle, was put through the table. On Raw, the King of Bros vowed to get back at the head of the table in honor of his partner. As it stands, a match between Reigns and Riddle could be on the books, 
with the latter getting set for a short solo run. The former Raw Tag Team Champion could challenge Reigns for his titles. Brian Alvarez of the Wrestling Observer has suggested that Reigns' cousin and WWE legend, The Rock, could finally have a lighter schedule in 2023, thus allowing him to potentially return to the company for a short run. A match between The Rock and Reigns has been discussed by the WWE Universe over the past few months. Considering the Great One's schedule for next year, the highly awaited showdown could take place at WrestleMania 39, but nothing is confirmed as of writing yet. Sasha Banks and Naomi replace Roman Reigns on advert for upcoming episode of SmackDown. Sasha Banks and Naomi have replaced Roman Reigns in adverts for the June 24th episode of SmackDown Live from Texas. This comes over a month after the two women walked out of WWE. Banks and Naomi were suspended from the company last week after exiting ahead of Raw and leaving the women's tag team championships behind. It has since been confirmed that the two women are no longer on the road with WWE and haven't appeared on TV since. WWE is still advertising the upcoming episode of SmackDown Live from the Moody Center in Texas but has updated the listings to make it clear that Roman Reigns will not be in attendance. Despite changing up the advertisement, Naomi and Sasha Banks have been added to the listing for the show. Whilst these advertisements have been updated to match Reigns' new schedule, there's a chance that they were released before Banks and Naomi walked out of the company. There is also a chance that WWE has opted against changing the listings and images for now just in case they are able to patch things up with Banks and Naomi and the two women return in the next month. Roman Reigns currently holds the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, but the Tribal Chief is set to take an extended break from the company this summer. After initially being advertised for the show in Texas, the company has since removed Reigns from the listing, as the star is expected to take a leave of absence this summer and is only advertised to be part of Money in the Bank in SummerSlam. Reigns won't be part of the upcoming Hell in a Cell event either and recently noted that he will no longer be wrestling at WWE Live events. Bobby Lashley threatens Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has been on an untouchable streak since his return to WWE at SummerSlam 2020. With the WWE and Universal Championship on each shoulder, the Tribal Chief is bound to attract formidable challengers. He has now seemingly done so in the form of Bobby Lashley. Since losing the WWE Championship at Elimination Chamber earlier this year, Lashley hasn't had a fair shot at regaining the title. Moreover, given that Lashley was removed from the match due to an injury before entering the bout, the Almighty could likely be primed for a world title match soon. On the latest edition of WWE's The Bump, Lashley opened up on what's next for him after dealing with MVP and Omos. We need a title on Raw. We need that world title at Raw. Right now, Roman's on top of this world. I'd like to get on that level. He can look at bringing that title back over to Raw and giving me an opportunity to challenge for that. That's another really great matchup. With Bobby Lashley removed from the Elimination Chamber match, Lesnar found a clear path to victory after decimating the remaining competitors to win the WWE Championship. Since Brock won the Royal Rumble match earlier, the Beast challenged Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania. Main eventing WrestleMania for the third time in history, Roman and Brock gave it their all in what was promoted as the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. While the encounter didn't last long, the match took a toll on both competitors. The head of the table came out on top, closing the grandest stage of them all, holding both world championships high above his head. Roman Reigns is yet to defend the titles in a televised match, but multiple potential challengers are looming in the background, with WWE Raw star Riddle being one of them. Who do you think will be the one to defeat Roman Reigns? Let us know in the comments section below.